Hey friends, um, I haven't recorded any video for a very long time actually, but I'm not dead, <laughs> I'm still alive, uh, only too busy with a lot of job, basically what I'm doing all these days is, um, yeah I was thinking about recording a reaction video to the um, Lion Cube Shibuya live thing. Uh, there is a lot of very interesting things there, but um, you know, my <laughs> I actually don't like uh, recording reaction videos, and my videos were never been reactions. Uh, I was thinking like doing um, like an analysis video. Usually, I do analysis video yeah? in in Lion Cube Shibuya. There is a lot of very interesting things, and there is also audio commentary from the girls about it. And I was thinking, like, uh, would be nice here yeah, to have all these, uh, like, uh, additional intros, for instance, for many songs. Would be interesting to analyze. But then I'm like, ah, especially that um, recent wave of uh, removals of uh, various videos from YouTube. And I was like, reluctant thinking, uh, would it be good? Would it uh, be removed? Would it be blocked? So I'm like, hesitating and, uh, ah. And uh, anyway, uh, I think most of you already seen this uh, Lion Cube Shibuya love theme. So, <clears throat> what I felt I actually should do is do an unboxing video. Because I've got uh, two uh, packages from CD Japan. Uh, there is a third one on the way, uh, but it has not arrived yet. You know, CD Japan was initially shipping to Russia through EMS. Uh, it was very nice. Uh, only it was arriving at the post office and I had to go to the post office to pick it up. But now EMS doesn't work and so they switched to FedEx, which is very good because FedEx ships to Russia. Uh, but my official shop does not, uh, they switched to DHA and um, all my orders in Bandmate official shop were cancelled. Uh, so, uh, the, the third package, which has not arrived yet from CD Japan, will be this uh, wonderful uh, calendar uh, from uh, Bandmate. Uh, I already have it. I, I bought it in Japan uh, this January. Uh, but when I saw it available on CD Japan, I just decided to buy an extra one, like this one I use. And uh, like, <laughs> I don't really use it, it's still April here, but it's because uh, I love Akane. <laughs> uh, okay, this will be like an extra thing. You know, um, why am I buying so much stuff? Actually, most of them are duplicates, like this. Uh, uh, calendar I will get the duplicate one right I if you've seen my previous unboxing videos I ordered like what five yeah five <laughs> conquer albums so basically all versions uh, because they had additional uh, picture of uh, like Konami Misa Miku was the there are two Mikus uh, then uh, two Mikus Saiki that one with DVD and then uh, Misa, Kanami, Akana. So there were like six concurs I got. I, even, I think I got seven because I also got another one from official. So I consider it, uh, what is the, uh, the main concern of all the band Mediacs uh, nowadays and always is to support the band, right? So we have to spend as much money as we can on the girls. So let's see what I've got in these wonderful boxes. Uh, actually, this one, <clears throat> the big one, it's that uh, Lucky Backpack, Fuku Lucky Backpack. Uh, I was not, you know, that when they put the new merch on the official shop, uh, it is never available, like, uh, they, they announced that, okay, we start the sales of some new things and you go there and it's always out of print. It's never available. So I like was never even bothering to, to look there for like exclusive things. 
I call this uh, like for instance this lucky backpack it was never ab available I think on the uh, official shop for some strange reason then CD Japan sends me a notification uh, saying the goods you might might be interested in and then I see this lucky backpack and so I just immediately clicked it and went there and bought it so let's see what's inside the box okay, let's see Paper from here because it's uh, paper. CD Japan. Hmm. Yeah, they they were shipping through FedEx, so FedEx uh, is shipping to Russia. DHL does not so. Now I just cannot order anything at all from the official shop, unfortunately. They, they switched from EMS to DHA. Um, actually, DHA does ship to Russia, but only to the legal entity. So if it's like big things, so I don't know if you're a company, uh, but they don't ship to individual uh, individuals. Okay, let's see. Packing slip from CD Japan. Band made Fuku Lucky Backpack Bags. Let's see what we've got. Japan has a very good packing you see they they always have they always pack it very nice when I ordered Conqueror from the official shop it just came in an envelope you know just an envelope and from CD Japan it always comes in a very nice box so the goods always protected so I sincerely recommend empty <laughs> So what have we got? Mm. Backpack. You know that um, when I went to in, uh, in, uh, into Japan in January uh, I was bringing some gifts to Miku, basically, uh, some uh, um, Mifi uh, things, which I bought in uh, Netherlands when I was in Netherlands in December. So I was thinking, yeah, I'm coming to Japan and I should bring some Mifi stuff to Miku. So I bought like a lot of things, there was the whole bag of it. Uh, I'm actually now thinking that I should have bought more uh, Mifi um, stuffed um, toys but at the time I thought I already have a big bag how will I carry it to Japan uh, okay and when I was presenting it to a uh, bandmate so I left it in the gift box in uh, Nagoya uh, I put it inside the um, this wonderful Amsterdam bag the, I had this bag from Netherlands, uh, which I bought just uh, <laughs> uh, during my first actually visit to Bandmate concert in uh, November 2018, because uh, my baggage was lost and I needed some bag to put my laptop there. So I just went in the airport to the shop and bought some like uh, very nice actually bag with Amsterdam on it and very nice looking. Uh, but it was like a, a random uh, buy, so I I thought 
I, I can give it to Miko as well because uh, she loves Netherlands because she loves Mifi so I gave it to her and uh, now I don't have any back of this side like to carry things and so this backpack is actually a nice addition uh, it's a very like, simple bag as you can see but okay there should be four random things because it is called lucky backpack so I'm feeling lucky uh, there should be something let's see oh paper Unlucky, okay. <laughs> One of the gifts. Okay. You see, guys, that is a different paper. It's not a CD Japan paper, it's band made paper. So should I keep it? Alright, let's see what we've got. The main thing. Okay, there is something there. Mm. Oh, there's a sticker. Actually, these stickers, they're like part of the, um, uh, like a lottery in uh, Kobe, for instance. They were selling this and you could buy it, I think, for like uh, 1000 yen. And it was a lottery. Uh, you could win a signed poster or signed t-shirt or something from the band with all the signatures but of course I didn't get it so I had like I bought 10 of those so I think I shared it uh, half half with uh, Yoki uh, my friend Yoki from Germany from Bremen so he said he's sticking it to his car and uh, or whatever so yeah th this is like a, a nice a nice sticker you can put it anywhere all right what else have we got here oh some sort of bag let's see a bag there is a band made logo there i I feel there is something in this bag. So it's a very nice bag, actually. Ah, it's probably a strap there because you can see you can, you can have a strap. This one is empty. Silica gel. Nothing there. A strap. A strap. A strap with uh, world domination, world domination, world domination. It's like a like a dongle it's like a dongle and then the main strap to carry it on the shoulder world domination all over world domination all over the place all right so i attach it like this and that becomes a very nice purse Purse for summer, yeah. When you have to carry uh, goods, you know, and it's too too hot to put on any garment with uh, pockets. So if you don't have any pockets, you can carry your things in there. Can do it like this. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. Mm, very nice bag. Okay. So this one. Oh, yeah. A very special t-shirt uh, and I think a towel okay let's see this t-shirt uh, there was only one size available at CD Japan site you know because they uh, they got it I think they got it this backpack I don't know from where maybe somebody ordered it 
from CD Japan proxy service. You know, they have these proxy services, so you can uh, order anything you want and they will uh, order it for you from somewhere and uh, just ship it to you. Uh, probably somebody ordered it through proxy and then canceled the PO and they suddenly have this one backpack left and I was lucky to actually get it quickly so that was whatever t-shirt size available there let's see what is this t-shirt band wait it's uh, M size, they said. Yeah, it's M. So medium. Probably too small for me, but you know, it actually looks even my size. Not strangely. But very nice t-shirt. Okay. Mm, great. All right. And I think there was a towel. Yeah. There was a... Um, yeah, four, four things they said. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. It should have been four. Ah, four is a sticker. Strange. So there is nothing there. Okay. 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 So the towel. In Japan, they uh, they use these towels, uh, which uh, they that is actually like, um, uh, for instance, when I went to Ozzy Osbourne concert in Moscow and St. Petersburg, I bought a scarf. So it was actually a scarf, a wool scarf, a very nice one. Uh, but that is for northern countries, yeah, because you, what do you need? Uh, you need usually a scarf, so. but in Japan it's too hot, so they sell towels. Uh, okay, of course it's a towel, yeah, but I think, uh, oh, Bent Maiko towel. Oh, I didn't think about it, Bent Maiko towel. So usually, I think, it implies that you use it as a, um, uh, as a banner maybe so at the concert you can be yeah 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 you know wave this banner or you can carry it around your neck so that's uh, like this so that is uh, I, I saw that they wear it like this at the concert so it's sort of like uh, they treat it as a scarf but that one is too small I have a bigger one from Japan let me show this is all my, by the way, all my band made merch. All my band made merch, which I bought in Japan. So, these uh, t shirts from band made. Yeah, this is the old t-shirt which I bought in Amsterdam in 2018. Uh, this is also from Amsterdam. No, this is from 2019. You see, this is, these are the special t-shirts uh, with the dates. So if you attend the concert on this date, or like that was a European tour 2019, yeah? Uh, Bandmate World Domination Tour 2019 Gekido Gekido O as Miko was saying Shinyaku Shinkoku Gekido and now it's Shinka uh, so I was at all these concerts except for London because I didn't have a um, UK visa so this is a uh, I was in Paris, Le Trabendo, I was in Bochum, Zeche, Bochum, and I was in Loga, Hamburg. So I got this very nice t-shirt. This t-shirt, as I said, is from uh, 2018 uh, tour. So, of course, I was not in the States. Los uh, 
I intended only one constant there. I was like brand new, brand my fan only one month after I actually learned about them. And uh, it was like my my first concert in like 20 years or something, you know. I, I, I was never going to concerts. I was really disappointed with the modern music. And then I saw Batman and I was so, uh, in, so enamored about them that I decided to go. So I was there November 16th, Amsterdam, Melkweg. Uh, so that's it. Then, ah, that's what I meant by the towel. Yeah, the Conqueror towel. So this is longer. You see this band micro, it's, uh, it's shorter. So you cannot really put it around your neck, but this one you can. So I was wearing it in uh, in Japan as uh, the Conqueror band band. So I was actually putting it around my neck like this. It's a very funny color, but <laughs> so I was wearing it like this in Japan. So that's what they do, but it's actually a towel. Yeah, just a normal towel. What else have I got? Yeah, I've got very nice hoodies, of course. Hoodies. Hoodies. Very, very, very nice hoodies with this world domination uh, band made. World domination at the back and uh, band made in the front. And it's very high quality hoodies, so I like them very much. I think it's the same one. Ah, it's the same one. No, no, it's not the same one. This one is open, yeah. So you, you have a you have a zipper, so you can zip it. But uh, so this one is with a zipper, and that one is without a zipper. So it's just closed like this. So it's. inside ah that is also a hoodie which I bought in in Amsterdam it's also a European one uh, so you see here uh, the same dates so this is uh, November 16 Amsterdam Melkweg and in the front you see uh, very nice uh, pouch in the front uh, this one is for for colder weather yeah because if hoodie is all closed so you cannot like unzip it to, to cool you down so that's really like for uh for early fall late uh for late fall early spring okay so what else have i got i've got this t-shirt ah this is also from european tour so this bando do do Ba, n, do, meido, bando meido, bando meido, va. And this is the same date from 2019. And then I've got, okay, this, so I've got these t shirts, I never wore them. This is uh, Kanani, this is Miko, this is Akane. Oh, this is Asterism. Ah, I have some Asterism stuff which I bought in Fukuoka uh, when I when I was in, uh, in in Japan in January. So I first I went to Fukuoka to see Asterism. So these are Asterism t-shirts. Asterism. Asterism. Very nice things actually. Uh, this again hoodie with a conquer. I also never wore it. The blue one. Okay, it's a t-shirt uh, Conquer t-shirt I also didn't even unpack it Okay Okay, okay I've shown you all my treasures uh, Still uh, one bag to unpack uh, This is also from C CD Japan Everything is from CD Japan uh, these are discs, so this must be line cube Shibuya discs. So let's see. Uh, this is a FedEx FedEx sticker, and there 
is this uh, invoice from City Japan, which says Music CD Blu-ray 2, <laughs> two Blu-rays. I was stupid enough actually to, well, not stupid. I'm like, uh, as I said, <clears throat> the goal of every maniac is to spend as much money as they can on the girls. So that's what I'm doing. So basically, there should be four discs inside. Let's see. Let's see what's in there. And I should unpack it from this side. CD Japan sticker. Hmm. Let me think about it. It's interesting. They put it at the bottom and then put a little paper on top. Ah, okay, that's how they did it. Thank you. So this is the list of things. Yeah, this is uh, basically three uh, three part numbers and four discs. Let's see, let's see. Okay. CD Japan. I love CD Japan. CD Japan is really great. A lot of stickers. Oh, Conqueror stickers. Ah, that's that's the bonus here which I was getting. So you see, it's the same bonus. It's Misa. Misa, Misa, Misa. Uh, so these are two identical discs. I ordered it from official as well, but as I say, it was all cancelled. Uh, so official had uh, some other postcard. It's a postcard with Misa, yeah? Postcard with Misa. Uh, that one from official should have had Konami, I think, card, but no luck. No luck. Ah, World Domination Tour at Lion Cube Shibuya. Live making documents and audio commentary. Blu ray and DVD. Ah, Blu ray and DVD, but it's uh, two part numbers. Hmm? One slash another. So this is a Blu ray disc. I always order Blu ray. I specifically bought a Blu ray. Blu-ray player to play them. I actually don't play the discs. Uh, I um, uh, Copy them to my hard drive bought a special software like really expensive for that like three hundred uh, Dollars, I think there is a Japanese called DVD fab So this DVD fab can copy the protected contents of the disc to the hard drive and then you You don't need to put the disc each time into a player Especially my player is like external box. I have to connect it first through USB and stuff like that. So if I want to watch something, just copy it to my hard drive and then I watch it. So this is one and there is identical another. So there's like two bl Blu-rays I've got. Uh, World Domination Tour. Uh, 21 songs. Uh, but as we know, there, are, there were 23 played. There were also the acoustic versions of YOLO and Puzzle, I think, but they were excluded from this disc. Uh, such a pity. I would love to hear acoustic YOLO. Nevertheless, this is great. You know, I actually downloaded it um, through the Telegram channel first. Uh, not through Telegram. Somebody uploaded it to, the, uh, uh, to YouTube and I was able to um, download it. Uh, and I was watching it and then somebody also shared it as a multi-volume uh, archive through a telegram channel of Bandmate and uh, that has like it's just the full repacked version of it 18 gigabytes you know so this one is uh, is what I'm watching right now not every day but like at least once a week I go there it's full two hours 
now one hour 40 minutes is what left from the concert so they were excluding uh, audio and some uh, Miko Majinai time part where she was throwing candies into the crowd and uh, uh, extra 20 minutes is the making of documentary uh, which is also actually included in that uh, uh, telegram channel archives whatever if you need uh, actually I have it on my Dropbox and I can share the link with you but go and buy as many discs as you can to support the girls uh, so yeah two identical blu-rays with Misa 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 and two stickers two conquer stickers also identical okay I also ordered yeah I always order some extra things you know when I can because uh, uh, anyway the shipping charges are quite high so I try to add things uh, so that I save on shipping I just randomly buy it it's like probably uh, brand new made and new beginnings so two of their old CDs uh, I already have them so this is just duplicates just to support the girls I think I don't even have this version of New Beginning. Okay, now as we have this wonderful unpacking video, probably I should uh, show you uh, my other treasures, uh, the disc which I have. Let me show it to you. Ah, by the way, I have these custom t-shirts made, which I was actually wearing in Europe. Uh, and I think in Japan as well, you can see it in my reaction videos. So this one with Akane. Akane t-shirt. This is what, what I ordered by myself. So I, I basically designed and made them by myself. Saiki the Queen. <laughs> so, and their alter ego Fujiki Ben Michael and Akane is Akatsuki Akatsuki bandmate Akatsuki Ben Michael Akatsuki bandmate Akane and and Misa, Misa, Misa <laughs> with red eyes. It was funny actually <clears throat> when I uh, when I went to Paris, I was wearing this t-shirt and my wife actually was wearing uh, a Kana t-shirt. So my wife was in red and I was in this black one with Misa. <laughs> Misa looked at me and said, she's like, oh, Kai, man. So she was like red eyes. So she was really, <laughs> she looked really stunned with the, that image. You see, Misa, the queen of darkness with red eyes. And of course, Ume Misa, Ume Misa at the back. Okay. These are my discs. Okay, this is uh, Ben Michael with this very nice bag. Yeah, you probably remember it from uh, Bochum recordings. Uh, it was uh, Doc Loco, Philippe Dupont. He put some um, plectrums the pics into this box and gave it as a gift to Miku to to the girls and then Miku returned this back <laughs> so it was a very nice occurrence which shows their integrity like their crystal clear integrity you know that 
okay, they've got a gift, but they immediately felt that this bag does not belong to them. It was just a nice package for the gift. And they did want to, uh, to deprive the fan of this bag. They could have just kept it to themselves, but they don't need it, right? <laughs> they, are, they can have thousands of these bags if they want. It's free for them. So they, they returned it to the, to the owner. It was incredible occurrence. Okay, so, ah, by the way, I have this very nice uh, magazine, specifically dedicated to bandmate only. So this one, it's called Geeks Magazine. So they publish it from time to time. I think they, they will have another one uh, available starting from today. But no, I usually don't bother them. Okay, these uh, clear files, which I, I'm actually using quite actively, at least one of them. I went with it to Japan and I was actually using it. So you see I put some things in there, which related. This is um, I picked at, the, at one of the shows in Japan. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of things. So I saved all the papers which I could find where bandmate is mentioned. So you see... Mm -hmm. Where is bandmate here? Oh, I should have said it because it should be here. Let's go. Mm. I don't see it here. Okay. Strange. Okay, whatever. Well, mostly, yeah, it's, I saved it because Bent made some issues on it. Well, so it they, they add some um, the brochures which you can, uh, which are in the in the pouches at the um, and pockets at the, any venue, so you can take this for free. Uh, it's like announcements for the shows which are coming, upcoming shows. So bandmate should be there as well somewhere. Okay, it okay. doesn't matter. So some things. Oh no, it's just not that bad. Why am I keeping all that stuff? My goodness. Yeah, it's <laughs> bandmate is just announced here. Uh, Friday 10th, January 10th. That's a Diamond Hall Nagoya. Very nice venue. Very nice venue. On the other hand, the venue in Kobe was awful. Okay, also some stuff, like some maps. That's from my trip to Japan. Clear file. So, yes, <laughs> I'm crazy, you see. Now I've got already three discs, uh, two identical. This is a new one, this is old one. Not even unpacked, I didn't even open them. Uh, these are different ones. Um, uh, you see they have different poses. So Miku has turned back, you can see her face, and Saiki, you can see her face partially. And here they absolutely turned around. So you see it's a bit different. So this is a different version of... Uh, uh, they told me that there is a, there should be a... Um, a DVD Akasa Blitz uh, show in 2017, but that was a limited edition. So this show is not even available anywhere on YouTube, anywhere like nobody bothered to upload it. So new beginning. How many new beginnings have I got? Not the singles. It's a, uh, there is Glory. That's a very nice, Exclusive world domination with uh, Shinkiba Studio Cost Blu ray. I was in time to buy it. So, very, very nice disc, like real rarity. Uh, with the, So, you see, there are two discs in there. Like this. So, there's a CD of world domination and um, 
bonus disc Blu-ray with Shinkibo Studio Cost. There is a this uh, inlay with the texts and then then my logo. Uh, there is a version of it uh, from a UK uh, subsidiary of Bentley but my label and they say that they have English translation on here but you know, I don't have it <clears throat> it's a very nice picture I think it's Miku's mouth with the uh, globe inside so it's a globe of the earth inside so she has the world in her mouth Okay, very nice thing. And then what have I got? Ah, these are actually the three bonus discs which were coming together with the um, with the singles. So if you order both Glory and Bubble singles, this is a Bubble single. So you would get also three uh, bonus discs. They are not for sale. So they have on set a studio version of on set. Uh, it has um, puzzle studio version of uh, acoustic puzzle studio version of acoustic puzzle and studio version of acoustic animal very interesting so yeah, this is uh, this is bubble bubble uh, symbol ah, and also made in japan which I, which I bought but it's a later edition of made in japan this in white um, in white jacket uh, with the yeah there's a disc uh, with actually some bonuses this uh i to john tsunomata doro uh, Matador of Love and Passion and in the second thing like there are the texts made in Japan. So this one. So bubble single. This. I don't listen to discs I said. I copy them to my hard drive and listen to them uh, from my hard drive because it's impossible to, to put these discs back and forth all right I try to keep them safe so that they last for a long time ah that's a very nice deluxe edition of start over with zep tokyo uh, live show from april 13 2018 so okay I will, I will open it to show it to you it's a very nice that is what you call the deluxe edition you know that is really deluxe edition so uh, it's a very nice box very thick one and it has a lot of uh, postcards in it so these postcards actually scan them all if you if you want the scans i can share them with you so these are the the older girls and then some individual ones very very nice so there is also um, there's also bent michael uh bent michael bent michael i think it's written here so this is uh the april 1st uh, joke <clears throat> with um, Secret Michael Lips. So this is Secret Michael Lips DVD, and then start over single, and then uh, Zep Tokyo Blu-ray. So that's what you uh, what you would get if you would order this one. It was actually available for quite a long time after that. Uh, yeah, but of course it's out of sale now. It's really a limited edition. Really, really limited. So now it costs like seven hundred dollars. I heard. So all right. Oops! Oops! Ah! I ruined it. Okay, whatever. Let me fix 
striker. Ah, uh, conquer. <laughs> How many conquers I got? One. It's a psyche DVD. Uh, two. Nico with her thumb inside. With her mouth shut. Two. Uh, it's a world domination CD, just a regular one from official shop. Uh, so conquer number three with Mick with Hotan out. This one with a Blu-ray. Blu-ray domination. Ah, that's uh, instrumentals. Yeah, the instrumentals which they have. Uh, two identical ones. Yeah. Three identical ones, <laughs> four identical ones. <laughs> it's a four identical ones with a Blu-ray. Then uh, just a simple CD without anything, and then Psyche with DVD. So it makes six. Uh, ah, by the way, a very interesting band actually, which I keep recommending to everybody, but it seems too unusual for people to listen. It is called Bleach. Three girls from Okinawa. It's an old one. Uh, they uh, disbanded, like completely disbanded in 2016. Uh, the the best bass player, um, what's her name? Mia. So uh, she's still playing in some like jazz bands or something. She's really incredible bass player. Uh, but the rest of them are, I don't know what they're doing. They were active since 2001, I think, until 2010. Bleach, really, they they have very few recordings on uh, YouTube and their official, official website, I think, went down finally. It's not supported anymore. Uh, but you can find on YouTube their MVs as well. And... Uh, if you want, you can download their music from a torrent, rootracker.org. Or if you want, I can share them with you through my Dropbox. <laughs> Sex Pistols. <laughs> I bought it for like yeah, six euros in Germany. I just went into a, a shop, a convenience store. And then I saw it there and I was like, wow, Sex Pistols, never mind the bollocks. So I bought it. Um, ah, this is Riol. This is another band which I really love, you know. Riol. Um, they had a very nice project with a guy called uh, Riol. Uh, Riol is, is that girl. That girl. Um, who is singing. And there is a guy called Giga P. So this Giga P is a composer and um, electronics, uh, like keyboard player or something so they had a very nice collaboration so they had only three albums uh, this uh, Sigma this uh, called no title I think it's the first one and there is another one I don't remember also they all available on YouTube so Asterism of course Asterism Asterism all signed I have their signatures inside. And there's very nice, this stick man. Uh, it's a offshoot of King Crimson. Uh, like there's this guy called um, Tony Levin. Tony Levin, who is a bass player and he plays yeah, all, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Pat Mastelotto, who is a King Crimson drummer. And there was this guy on eight string guitar. <laughs> <laughs> which was together with them and uh, yeah three people basically guitar Tony Levin on bass and uh, Pat Mastelot on drums but they're not like yeah it's not I bought it at their concert in Moscow there was a very small show in a club in Moscow so I bought it there but it was not really a good stuff so stick man like eh. meh King Crimson was of course uh, oh there's also this one Gordon uh, which I bought uh, in Nagoya on a street <laughs> from them uh, they released a new uh, disc recently 
uh, but it's impossible to buy it, I think. I may ask CD Japan maybe for proxy service. Maybe that's what should I do to support Gordon. I really like them. It's a really wonderful band. Uh, they they behave strangely, you know. They there's a girl who's singing and a very nice guitarist, like really really great guitarist. Uh, but of course there is also very nice bass player and very nice drummer. But they don't. Have, it's like the same problem as they have with baby metal, you know. Uh, they promote themselves as like uh, the singer only or like the, there are some people at the front and those. People at the back are like session musicians, of course, but musicians know that your band is as good as your drummer and they really have a very nice drum and very nice bass player. So why they don't uh, position themselves as four people band? It's a four people band. Uh, no, they only position themselves as a singer and a guitarist. <sighs> nah. uh, what else? Ah, that's what I've got from Bandmate. So there is also this uh, Just Bring It. Oh, only, only one, just bring it. I should buy more. Ah, Daydreaming. Uh, this one should have a Katska Blitz show in, the, in it, but only available in deluxe edition. So this is not deluxe edition, it's just a normal one. Only CD inside. No need even to open it. <clears throat> and this uh, YOLO Red Rose edition, which is... Uh, I think available on official web uh, available everywhere you can you can buy it easily but it's also um, yeah it has a YOLO instrumental all these songs are available on Spotify by the way and of course a whole bunch of um, 88 pilgrimages discs which is a really nice band but Oh, and there's a, a towel, a big towel actually, which I got in one of the orders. Ah, that's what I wanted to mention to you, the stickers. That's the stickers which I bought in uh, Kobe. Like there were really a lot of them. I took, yeah, I took, what? Four. Yeah, four. So I gave the rest uh, six, I think, to Yoki. There's also a lot of uh, stickers with this... Um, um, random stickers you get you get three for like 10 euros uh three for 1000 yen i think so in order to gather all the girls psyche is the most rare one uh, also there are bent micro personalities in there the psyche in uh, fujiki i think they're the most rare one i don't know if even i have fujiki so in order to really get them all, you have to buy like hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of those. <laughs> but it's a good buy, you know, if you really want to support the band, it's a good way to support them. Especially if you happen to be at their concert, I really recommend you to spend like at least like 100 euros, you know, on these uh, stickers. If you spend 100, you will get uh, 30, 30 uh, stickers. So hopefully you will even get psyche in them but most of this is uh, Misa. Miku I think is the most often one Misa is the second and then Akan and Kanami yeah quite often you can see them but oh, it's a Gordon poster very nice card which was uh, fan made some fan uh, Japanese fan gave it to me uh, at um, Nagoya concert so he was just distributing them among the fans he was like ah, do you want a card so he gave me a card with misa misa drinking german beer by the way it's a famous photo where misa is drinking german beer yeah so the, the stickers inside those uh, uh metallic uh envelopes is like this like you see fujiki here so i have fujiki so Ah, by the way, <laughs> this is um, <laughs> this is from Kobe. <laughs> this is uh, um, what you call it uh, a token uh, for a drink. Uh, so I didn't use it. I was like. Pfft, 
why do I need a drink, you know, if I can have this wonderful souvenir for future. So it's from Kobe Harbor Studio uh, token. So these are my treasures, guys. Thank you very much for, for watching it all. I don't know really if I should uh, do some reaction video next. Uh, I'm, I will be thinking about it. I actually had even some research prepared on the topic like why bandmate is not as popular as they should be but yeah with all the workload I have I didn't have a chance to to actually do the research complete the research okay see you